The Green Party is taking the capital gains tax to the next level, with co-leader Marama Davidson now open to including the family home. She's got some big ideas for spending and borrowing too that are not just out of step with her government partners, but also her own party. Anna Barris Bracewell Worrell reports. <laughs> Marama Davidson stacking up a case to tax the wealthy elite. And the gap between those struggling and those creaming it is unacceptable. Except she doesn't seem to know who they are or how much they own. Who exactly are the wealthy elite? Well, man who owns hundreds of homes. I can't even remember the number. That was such a ridiculous amount of homes to own for one person. Um, there's no need for that. Regardless, she says they own too much. That's why the Greens will push hard for a capital gains tax. With Davidson going even harder beyond Green Party policy to even consider taxing the family home. Why shouldn't there be a tax on the family home? Yeah, and I'm open to that debate, to be quite honest. But not in any government led by this Prime Minister. There will never be consensus on that issue because we ruled it out even from consideration right from the beginning. Davidson says the proceeds of a capital gains tax will help tackle homelessness. It's part of regulating our housing market and that has led to the homelessness situation, the worst we've ever seen today. Will the capital gains tax help solve homelessness? Absolutely not. The, the issues around homelessness are primarily related to drug abuse and to mental health and those things won't be resolved in any way by the imposition of a new tax. The three governing parties are split on a capital gains tax. Labour's original policy was a broad-based capital gains tax with an exception for the family home. New Zealand First has historically completely opposed capital gains taxes. And the Greens at totally the other end of the spectrum, opening the door to extending the capital gains tax to include the family home. The Greens don't understand the economy and issues like how you build a lot of houses. Davidson also wants to see the budget responsibility rules scrapped. The fiscal straitjacket, Labour and the Greens signed up to an opposition that prevent borrowing more. Davidson now says they're arbitrary. Being restricted by arbitrary measures. No, I wouldn't consider them to be arbitrary. Davidson's comments arguably kicking the government while it's down. Anna, how damaging are Manama Davidson's comments? Well, the comments certainly don't help the government. Marama Davidson's thrown a major curveball into the debate about a capital gains tax. Because the government's not reporting its tax, its pl uh, tax plans back until April, it's hamstrung about what it can say. That leaves the opposition uh, ready to fill the void with its attacks on a capital gains tax. If the waters weren't muddied before about where the government stands on a capital gains tax, they're certainly muddied now. Anna, thank you.